That out there, that's the Helford Estuary in Cornwall. Of course, it may be June, but it is a cold and grey and rather miserable day, which is normal for the UK, isn't it, so often? You know, when people put new technology into their homes, things like heat pumps, they always ask, you know, is this going to be suitable? Is this appropriate? In our rather damp British climate? And the answer is, well, yes, of course it is. They work brilliantly well. And this is something that Valent have addressed with their heat pump challenge. Now, coming here, I've come to find one of the uh, winners. And they own this beautiful converted boathouse down by the estuary. Although I am enormously distracted by the boats and by the birds and by the beauty of the landscape and the water, this is what I've come to see. Yes, this beautiful shiny box. Gosh, that was worth the journey. Got to find the owners. Hello. Tom, is that right? Yep. Nigel. Yes. How nice are to you? meet you. And you, and yeah, you there too. You yeah. What an amazing sight. It's it's really lovely, isn't you're, it? You're yeah. right on the, the river here. And the, the estuary presumably comes right up, doesn't it, at high tide? Yeah. Oh, absolutely, yes. yes. Right up to the grass. So tell me, why did you put the, the heat pump in? It was to help save the world from global warming. I like that. <laughs> so we've got um, heat pump in the main house, ground source heat pump uh, in the lodge up the road and the seat pump. So you're running it on electric before, so yeah. that was on what, night storage or? No, it wasn't. No, it a, was just, it was just electric, electric heating. Wow, yeah. so quite yes. expensive yeah. to run. Yes. Can we get inside and have a look? Yes, sure. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you very much for tea. I hope yeah, you enjoyed yeah. it. Well, yeah, not least because it is a bit breezy and chilly outside. It is indeed. This is warming. Uh, but the house is warm yeah. and all heated by that one machine out yes. there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Air source running oh, hot waters in the radiators. Yeah. Have you been able to monitor how it's performed, how, what you saved here, what, what, what the bills are like now compared? Well, we haven't worked out the cost, but we worked out how much electricity we've used. And the year before we put it in, we used twice as much electricity More as the year twice. after we put it in. So yes. you've got a 50% saving on the yeah, uh, on, on the kilowatt hours. Yeah. Kilowatt hours. Fantastic, reliable, um, solid conclusion. And, and I'll, I'll tell you the other thing they say is they cannot believe that they can't hear it. Do you feel that you have proselytised, that you have you know spread the word? <laughs> yes, we, we, I go around trying to talk people into saving the world from global warming. <laughs> and, and people are getting the message, there's no question about that now. So you feel um, vindicated? Yes, definitely. A little smug even. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. A lot smug. <laughs> so a standard radiator kind of size, but look how deep it is. And so it's oversized all in all to cope with the lower temperatures that you get from the heat pump. I'd like to know how it's um, plumbed though. So I'm going to go and find Ben, who I think designed the system. Hey. Hi. Hello. Jamie. Jamie. Ben. Jamie. Jamie. Hey, nice ben. How are you, Ben? Hi. Good to meet you, Kevin. And you. So you're the designer, Ben. Is that right with the system? Yes, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the first person that, uh, that our customers engage with. And, and you work together, judging by the uh, logos, you work together a lot? Yeah, ben, Ben's on the sales side. Like I said, he's the one that goes out, meets the customer first, does all the heat loss helps. Ben then gives the job to me, hands it over to me, then I come out for the install team and install the installation. Okay. Yeah. And this is the beautiful beast. Listen, it's, it's right by the sea. Yes. This is a steel casing. It's got componentry. It's got a heat exchanger inside. It's got whirring parts. Yeah. Lots of opportunity for corrosion. Mm -hmm. One of the great things about why we like the valence system is the corrosion protection. It comes as standard. We don't have to do any aftermarket stuff. It comes from the factory with superb corrosion protection, on nano paint and all that kind of stuff. So equipment, especially down in Cornwall and a lot of coastal yeah. projects that we do, you can suddenly two, three years later and it ends up looking pretty tatty. Just tell me something, does it change people? I mean, it might change their, their behavior perhaps in how they heat their home, but do people become more engaged? Or is this really designed to be a fit and forget system? It's designed to be a fit and forget system. Once you put it in, once it's all set up to the design temperatures and the parameters that Ben's designed, 
They shouldn't need to touch it at all. Shouldn't need to touch a sensor comfort, which is the, the thermostat that, in stores. Oh, I just part. Can we go and have a look at that? That's yep. the black. Can we go and have a look at that? Yeah, that's let's go inside. Yeah. Yeah. What's yeah. it called? Sensor. Sensor comfort. Sensor comfort. Right. So is this it here? The box. Yeah, I guess this is the brains of the outfit, yeah. So what, what does it do? So this is the Senso Comfort Controller. So this is where we control the heat pump and the homeowner can adjust settings. It's really configurable in terms of how much control you want to use. Yeah. The heat pump itself adjusts its output. So that that's the distinction. This right? is the magic that take, is, is a real challenge for everybody to understand. We arrive at the same comfort point as with a boiler, but we've just done it more energy efficiently. You would think, wouldn't you, that an, a, an older building with a thatched roof, something historic, really hard to heat with a heat pump. And come to that, a house on an estuary in Cornwall, next to the sea, with all these salt winds and the waves. I mean, goodness me, that would be almost impossible to heat with modern tech. But you see, you'd be wrong, because the heat pump here is supremely happy. And it works brilliantly. 